Hi, this is Phil Shapiro. Here are five things to know about me. The first thing, I went to Stanford. I went to Stanford train station. I left my umbrella there. I was dropping off a friend and I was driving about five miles away. I called him up. I said, hey, did you find my umbrella? And they said, yes, we did. So I drove all the way back and I said, um, I, I'm the person who called. I left my umbrella here. And the station master said, what color is your umbrella? And I said, uh, blue. And the station master said, well, we didn't find any blue umbrellas. So I was walking away disappointed. And the station master said, just say black, just say black. We have 17 black umbrellas in our lost and found. So I said, black, fine, black. I took the umbrella. The second thing to know about me is I went to Princeton. So I was driving through Princeton, New Jersey once, and I got a moving ticket violation from a police officer, pulled me over, said I ran a red light. I definitely did not run the red light. It was a gorgeous weather. Everything was very clear. I could see the red light. And so I challenged the, the ticket in court. And um, I, the judge was asking me about the weather on that day. I said, it was totally gorgeous, sunny day. I could clearly see the, the traffic light. I said, I had my umbrella. My umbrella was totally dry in the car. And the judge leans forward and says, what color was your umbrella? And I said, blue. I mean, black, 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 black. The third thing to know about me is um, I own an antique ebook store. And you can read about it here in the New York Times a place for antique ebooks. And this is David Pogue's column. So read about my antique ebook store. You can search Google, search the web, a place for antique ebooks. The New York Times was spelling ebooks with a dash. This was way back in 2009 before they became enlightened. Now they spell it without the dash. But look up my place for antique ebooks. Uh, the fourth thing to know about me is that I work in a public library and I pretty often sing and dance through the library stacks, kind of like Mary Poppins. You can find my dance videos. Go to sites.google.com slash site slash slash selected tweets. I'll say that again. Sites.google.com slash site slash selected tweets. Here's some of my tweets. And if you come up here to the left, there's my library dance videos. I have a couple of them. Oh, Metadata is very popular at the Library of Congress. There's um, At the Zoo in Kalamazoo. Uh, these books keep lifting me higher. I've just read a book. And when the source code is on GitHub and open source is yours and mine, of course, another Saturday night. So you can go look up my dance videos. Oops, that was the third thing about me. The fourth thing about me is I love writing children's stories. It's a little hobby of mine. And you can go and read some of my children's stories. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm going to bring up the browser again. Just search on the web. You can just search for children's stories. I'm usually on the third or fourth page on Google. Uh, or you can go Google Phil Shapiro children's stories. I mostly write for third and fourth grade. I don't know why. Children's stories. Some of my stories are very whimsical. Children's stories, Phil Shapiro. Here we are. Here we go. Um, here it is. Children's stories. So you'll see a blue page like this. I think it's blue. Oh, maybe not. So um, my best story is... Um, my best story, which is semi-autobiographical, autobiographical, is Sammy's autograph book. And my second best story is An Ordinary Mother. And the most whimsical of my stories is the story of Tommy Trimble. So go by there and take a peek. I received an email when I was working for Arlington Public Schools. About 15 years ago, I received an email from a school in India. And they said in this one sentence email, we really love your children's stories. And we printed them all out in Braille. So that was a nice email to get. And did I, I think I covered everything. One, two, three, four, five. Stanford, Princeton, Library Dance Video, Children's Stories, and Antique eBooks. Five things about me. And whatever you do when you're over here looking at my selected tweets, Whatever you do, do not 
com. If you're looking at my selected tweets over here, whoops. Um, if you're looking at my selected tweets over here, do not go and listen to my uh, Phil's Audio Sandbox because there's a couple of interesting stories here, but these are not part of the five things to know about me. So you shouldn't go and look here because all of these really interesting little short little stories, they're not part of the five things to know about me. Bye.